Hi everybody, this is a video of the Philips 160 watt self ballasted black light blue mercury vapour light bulb. As you can see, this is the black light blue mercury vapour light bulb I got from eBay. And I thought I'd buy this bulb because it's a, because it really caught my eye. Because it's a Philips one and I thought I'd get this bulb because, it, like I said, it really caught my eye. And it says on it, Philips black light blue. And on the bottom it says Philips. And, uh, and on the top here it says... Um, Philips black light blue MLW 160 watt E27 220-240 volts and uh, does it say anything else on it? Does it say on the scenario? It says burning position that's 30 Celsius and it's all in different other foreign languages but I'll just stick with the English one everybody so and I thought I'd get this bulb because I like the carton on it because this uh, really caught my eye and uh, and I love this uh, black bulb, well yeah, black light blue bulb and it's coloured black with the star shine, well the starry eyes on it on the side of the bulb. And as you can see on it, and it says Philips black light blue. So anyway guys, I'm going to get out of its uh, box and you'll see in one second or two everybody. So, <coughs> put its carton on the breakfast tea table everybody. So, uh, that's it, just put it like that. So, so, so. Anyway, guys, here here I have the the black light blue 160 watt self ballasted mercury vapor bulb at Philips, and as you can see on it, does it say anything? Yeah, it says on it um, Philips MLW um, 160 watt 220 dash 240 volts made in Belgium, and it's made by Philips. And this bulb really caught my eye when I when I typed it in on eBay, and then I got this bulb off eBay because this really caught my eye. So. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm gonna put it into the socket now. So, right, that's it now. It's fitted in nice and tightly. Now, it's fitted in. Right, let's just move it a little bit. So, it's fitted in nice and tightly. It's fitted in like so. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna turn off this uh, big lamp now. So, right, that's it now. The big lamp's gone now. Now, so. Onto the black light blue self ballasted mercury vapor bulb, everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow! As you can see, um, it's just come on uh, with a bright. It looks more like a peachy colour on the camera. But as I just turned it on, it looked like it weren't going to come on. But anyway, guys, so as you can see, the filament looks like a nice C shape. And it, on, from my eyes, it looks more peachy colour. But from my eyes, well, on the camera, it looks more. Uh, a peachy pink color but for my eyes it looks more um a purplish pink color you can see all blurriness you can't really see it on the camera but from my eyes it, it looks a bit blurry but as you can see it looks like the bit of the gas is starting to flare up in the mercury art tube and um you can you can definitely see it because you can see it from the filament and it doesn't look like bluish purple on on camera it looks more like whitish peach color but from my eyes it looks more it looks more uh, pinkish purple well bluish purple but it's a nice black light blue light bulb so as you can see it's lit my all my paperwork a nice bright well bright blue color and it's picking up but anyway guys so as you can see now it's just fully come on but it will warm up eventually but it does start with the incandescent filament and uh, but the, the the mercury out well the mercury gas is well it looks like it is starting to flare up now but but it does take its time to fully warm up but it will warm up eventually but so as you can see now, it's and it, and it is a, it is like a C shape. If I look at it over that way, so as you can see, oh yeah, you can see the filament. The filament looks reminds me of a lightning bolt. It looks like it's the eclipse of the sun. Yeah, it reminds me of a like lightning when we have a thunderstorm. That's what that filament looks like inside. Yeah, so uh, you can see it more clearly. You can see all them supportive hooks on it that's holding the filament in place, and that the filament is supposed to be the self ballast, and that's what it's supposed to be as part of the ballast igniter and capacitor and that that's why this bulb is self ballasted ignited and capacited all in one bulb and that's to ballast the mercury art tube and what have you guys so and uh, and as you can see now it's looks like the oh yeah you can see now that the mercury gas is flaring up it just does take its time though does it ever show up this carton and what have you guys um so as you can see does it oh you, know, you can see it when i put it towards the light bulb it shows up yeah, so um, it lights, you see all the black on it, so so as you can see on it, so, and as you can see now, it looks like the, the archer, well, the mercury gas is starting to reach its brightness, but not quite reaching 160 watts just yet, but I know the filament has, 
And um, it's funny that when I did uh, two videos, well, one, a video of a, a black light blue self-ballasted mercury bulb, the filament was actually in the centre. But this one, uh, in this one, it's not in the centre. It's on the top of the bulb. And... Um, and it showed, and as you can see now, it looks like it's almost reached its full brightness. It looks like a letter I like, Middle Eye of Aliens. That's a film with Sigourney Weaver. And um, and it's showing up all my paperwork. And and it shows up a nice bluish colour and what have you. And um, it's showing my air conditioning unit. And this light bulb, this, this green fluorescent one, and uh, that's showing the, the plastic housing up on it. And as you can see on it, it says... Pro light, pro pro light, two hundred and forty volts, fifty slash sixty hertz, fifteen watts ES screen, not dimmable, helix or helix, however you want to pronounce it. I really don't know. Slash fifteen watts ES. That's Edison twenty Edison screw, GR batch number six three nine zero four. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and as you can see on it, and then under the bottom of that screw cap, and that's like a cement concrete, well, ceramic concrete, and that showed up in the ultraviolet light as well. Yeah, so uh, let's put that on there. So let's put it on there, make sure it doesn't fall down or anything like that. So that's it now, it's down there. <laughs> so anyway, guys, so as you can see now, the, the, uh, the mercury arch tube, well, the mercury bulb's fully warmed up now. As you can see now, it has fully warmed up at 160 watts, hot and warm and everything, everybody. So, and as you can see, this little cigarette lighter, that's showing up in the black light, blue, ultraviolet light. Yeah. So, uh, and as you can see, from my eyes, right, it looks like the filaments, like, fully faded away. It dimmens down as soon as the, the mercury gas has fully reached its brightness. It takes over the... Um, it takes over the filament and looks like the filament's dimming down. It's hard to see. You can't see it dimming down on the camera, but for my eyes, it looks like it has. But anyway, let's take another good look into that filament. And as you can see on it, it's got that filament and it shines. It looks, it looks like a like peachish pink colour, but for my eyes, it looks more a very reddish pink colour. But like, and that's usually to ballast the mercury out you. Well, and then when you feel over above it, oh yes, oh yeah, you definitely can feel the heat from the bulb, and that does get very, very red hot. And they were like made for like disco purposes and whatnot, and for Halloween party purposes, and that's a uh, for that for that partying scenario. So as you can see on it, guys, you can see that my calendar and all my other pictures and my DVDs are all showing up in the black ultraviolet light. Yeah, so um. So as you can see, it like shines a nice blue, blue colour. And it shows up all, all me white bits. You can't really, really see it on the camera, but for my eyes you can. So um, so as you can see on it. And um, when I look at the art tube, well, the gas in the mercury art tube, it shines a very light pink colour. It looks more like pinkish white. But for my eyes, it looks more a purplish blue. Yeah, well, bluish purple. And it's a black light blue ultraviolet bulb. Yeah. So as you can see and everything, everybody, and it does show up all the all your nails, and it's and it's good for use for Halloween. If I ever have a Halloween party at my mum and dad's house, I might bring that down. I usually bring that to my friend's flat for New Year's Eve, and I use that before, so I might be able to bring that again. Yeah. So um, and that's good for the for the New Year's Eve party purpose, and like having a disco. Yeah. So, well, anyway, guys, once again, like I said, um, once again. Uh, the the uh, the black light blue uh, mercury vapor light bulb has fully reached its brightness at 160 watts hot and it's fully warmed up and it's shining everything looks more like bluish white but from my eyes it looks more pure and simply blue yeah so so anyway guys I'm gonna turn off this light bulb now so that's it now when I turn it off it, it vanishes instantly it disappears instantly anyway guys I'm gonna turn this lamp back on now. Right, that's it now. The big lamp's back on now, everybody. Let's put this carton next to it. So, well, anyway, guys, once again, so I, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, and this is a video of the, the Philips 160-watt self-ballasted black light blue mercury vapor light bulb, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.